Hey you guys, it's Ben from Idiots Play Games. Today, giving you the Golden Freezer Universe 7 deck profile. Death and Taxes Universe uh, UI Goku. Um, this actually isn't my deck, it's one of our players that we play here a lot. He, it's probably your favourite player that we usually uh, have on the channel. His name's Johnny. Um, and he completely wrecked me with his deck today. Um, I was playing my own variation of Death and Taxes, um, where I'm playing Death and Taxes Veggies. Um, we'll probably leave a description or a pop-up right here, maybe. Hopefully if they edit it in. Um, but yeah, this deck absolutely wiped the floor with me today. Um, this leader, um, I thought this was bad. When this leader first came out, I was like, wow, this thing doesn't have uh, Cold Bloodlust. But it really doesn't matter. Um, this deck gets to that point so strong. Um, this leader... Being able to draw on this side without swinging um, is probably one of the strongest things in this game. I've stated before in, um, in some of my other videos. Um, and then this side as well. So like with Cell, you could like chuck it under, flip it over, chuck it under and keep drawing. While this goes, chuck it under on this side, flip it over and chuck it on this side. Um, but yeah, we'll go into the deck profile. So we play 3 Energy Boosted Majin Buu. Um, Mainly because we've kind of wanted like a lot of like one drops to draw out of course um, Usually to just draw into all, all of our combo pieces uh, We play ready to fight Sun Goku um, Which is your Gawasu of the deck um, It's kind of like self-explanatory. There is enough universe 7 things in this deck uh, We play three objection now. This is the reason why it beats out all other death and taxes builds um, this is able to drop objection in a, in a more efficient way because your leader draws on its normal side. If you get this off early, you win the game because you pretty much get um, your death and taxes uh, freezer down before anyone else does, which in this current game state, you win. Three objection. We also three play three Piccolo against aggro decks. Um, if you don't know this card, it's a block of barrier with 2k once um, you have four or less life. Four bean, uh, three bean, and then one coercion. The reason why we use one coercion is because we do have flying Nimbus, but the other reason is because of the three bean. Um, because you can like untap and then like untap another blue or an untap another color if you need. Um, we found that just playing three by itself is strong enough. So uh, we use the Universe 7 Sun Goku combo card. Um, this is a very strong card. Um, the fact that it's five or more means that your like your leader doesn't mind if it's not awakened or not because you're not when this card awakens, um, it untaps two energy. So in a way, rather than drawing, you can just use this. Like if you're forced to awaken, you don't have to. So using this and you know it, you can use it as any kind of color as you want. All right. So we'll go into this here. So full powered spirit bomb Sun Goku. Um, it's the five drop. It's you know the thing that evolves into the Universe Seven Sun Goku approach uh, to Universe Seven. Um, I don't actually have the big UI on me, so I have to run uh, Scientist Fu. Um, but this card here, pretty much, I know you don't have the like you know to pop a card from their hand when it. Um, Pop a card on hand or on field, but the fact that it's just a triple attack, um, triple attack critical with 35k just pushes your game through. We play three Marseins. Three Marseine just deals with every single board these days. It's an amazing card. If it gets called Bloodlusted, they've wasted the call Bloodlust instead of being on one of these or one of these. But yeah, as I stated, this would be um, the UI Goku. I just don't have one near today. Universe 7 uh, representative. I actually don't like this card, but this thing just searches out all your combo pieces. Um, the fact that it doesn't give you 5k on the field, like, is, like, in my defense, a really bad card. But the fact is that it can't be called Bloodlusted, so I don't mind it too much. We play four Master Roshis. I'd say this is probably close to one of the best cards in this new set. Um, Master Roshi, uh, it's a negate and then comes onto the field as a 5k. If you don't like having 5k's on the field, then like if you're versing KL or anything, it's okay. But, you know, it's a 5k that stays on the field, that's enough. We play 3 Flying Nimbus. Flying Nimbus is now outweighed uh, with Coercion as the best negates in the game. Um, yeah, 
it's discard a card and your opponent can't attack pretty much. We play four Cold Hearted Strike Freezer. Um, I don't usually use the ability a lot to restand it. Um, like usually, if I'm just dropping a card, I'm going to drop it in for the Universe Seven um, Freezer. And talking about Universe Seven Freezer, we have our Death and Taxes. This card is absolutely broken. I don't like this card being in the game, but while it's here, let's use it. Um, it problem. I think this should be eroded to just once per turn, in my opinion. Being able to. Um, you know, crit your opponent's life every single time they take it, like if they want to play something. It doesn't feel like it should be in this game, but it is. You know, they decided it should be, but here it is. That's it for the deck profile. This is the deck that came first for the day. My deck came second. Um, check out that video as well. I put a lot of time and effort and thought I would have won locals today, but I didn't. So yeah, that's it for the videos, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one.